What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am here today bringing you the first part of a brand new series where we will play as Greece in Empire Total War. This won my faction vote held about a week ago uh, by a significant margin, and so this will be our next nation to play. I've picked World Domination because it's capture and hold 45 regions, which I think is about right. It's, it's, it's large enough. It's large enough to get to get really stuck into the campaign, and it's also not so long as a, a total world domination to drag on very long. So I think 45 nations is quite a good balance. Um, if you guys would like to read these this text down here, please feel free to pause the video and have a look because I will not be reading it myself. Um, I've picked hard hard because I think it's quite a nice balance, and let's crack on. So the Greeks will be quite interesting because. The Ottoman territory as far as the game's concerned which means they will be aggroed on me so one of the first things I will immediately do is not build anything because I will want to save up and get sediment fortifications as quickly as possible and it also means we seek allies because the Ottomans will declare on you quickly people trade with the Austrians Let's see if I can get an alliance with them Nope, that is fair enough. And then let's also trade with Britain's. Uh, yeah, well, maybe Russia. Russia will eventually head my way, and probably end up. Let's see if we can get an alliance with them. Nope, I need to balance that out. So I get six thousand five hundred. 10,000 to build a city so I can spend roughly three grand and be safe. So let's have a look at our regions. Right now we've got Patras which only has one town and a fishing fleet. Then we also have Athens itself which has a couple of towns up here but the trouble is so this one is very exposed to raiding and this one here um, also exposed to raiding and as you will notice I have no school so my first order of business will be to destroy the ironworks at Corinth to replace it with a uh, school and I will also destroy my fishing fleet in order to replace it with a naval shipyard because as you can see I have two ports and no navy to contend with and also because I have no navy to actually use you'll realize I have no slot in my capital to produce a to to uh, build newer tiers of naval buildings. So, if we, but if you look over here, thankfully there's a region right here we can capture, which is super handy. So, Istanbul will be a strategic char target, and I foresee a lot of the immediate battles will be against the Ottoman Empire. So, uh, my new Greek Empire will expand eastwards and probably capture these territories on the border with Austria. But we're, I'm hoping to uh, maintain friendly relations with them. And also take things like Cairo, Jerusalem, Damascus, and also capture North Africa, because that will be quite a nice little Greek empire. Eventually then hopping on to hit Valletta itself, and then hopping over the water and capture Naples and Rome. So we can be Greeks engaging in warfare on the Italian peninsula, as is tradition. Well, not tradition, I don't think, um, but should be, or could have been. Anyway, let's upgrade some of our buildings. Let's upgrade these farms. And then also dismantle this military governor's barracks because I would like a more civil building here to try and offset the impact of this school. If I have to, if I can destroy it in future and say use the one in Istanbul, I will. But for now, because we have no research, I need it. I'd very much like to research fire by rank. So I've got I can, can oh, oh we have no artillery foundry, so you will be built and then just to call it safe. I'm not going to build anything more there. Um, yeah, I may as well even trade with the Ottomans. Get some gold and it gives me some visibility on their capital. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to hit end turn. Military alliance? No. What good does a military alliance... No, I'm not going to... Upper Canada? No. Not handy. Um... But yes, my plan is to withstand the Ottomans, who will come. They just will. Um, I've had a bit of a sneak look at what the few early turns in this campaign are like. And if you don't do the right thing, you are in for a massive, massive struggle. Because the Ottomans will hit upon 
um, your capital with a full stack and you're just not ready. You're not ready to deal with them and you can't deal with them. You don't have the military and you don't you don't have the military might and you don't have the economy because one of the first things they will do is shut down your port. So you have no money and they can just batter you with troops after troops after troops. That's why walls in Athens, to me, are so important because it is much, much, much simpler to defend walls than an open city. It just is. So if you're in an inferior position, fortifications are that multiplier, as we've seen in history. Um, but that's my recommendations for our first turn is Greece. I think it's probably the best thing to do. So unfortunately we have no allies, but usually allies in this game come at the cost of money. And to me, that money was more important to have. So at least this turn, I've got to get the walls going and I'll feel a lot happier um, upgrading my economic buildings. My, I would like to advance across the, the, the Mediterranean and hit Tunisia and you know, the Libyan territories and things like that first. But I've got a feeling my main army, when it is eventually built, will be spending most of its time combating the Ottomans. Good, they're moving back. Here is the Ottoman fleet, to which I cannot and will not try to defeat. Oh, I forgot. I haven't got. I forgot about the port on um, Kaidonia. Well, it was Kaidonia. The town was Kaidonia in Rome One. That's how, what I know it as. Whether it's still that today, I don't know. Could well be. Um, I am not up to date with my Greek islands, but I forgot about that region. So hopefully, hmm. Not that it matters where is what, but that might be handier to have a naval port slightly out to sea. Well, either way, <laughs> I've not been looking when the uh, end turn phase has been going on. Maybe I should have been. So the Swedes are at war with the Russians, so maybe it was a good thing we're not a, we weren't allied with the Russians because maybe we might have got drawn in. And I presume at some point the Venetians will declare on me because they. Usually an empire owned Patras. We're just short of walls. Why is that? That's because the Swedes have... The Swedes have... Oh, and the cost of walls has gone up. So let's do... Yeah, you are a fishery. Good. Okay, so we build you up as a dock. So it's now 12,000 to build walls. So I can spend a couple of thousands. So I want to build a magistrate here, a school here, and that's probably it. As much as I would like to upgrade more things, I can't really touch it. I'd like to build an army, but to be honest, a garrison with a couple of units, well, I'd better hold off a full stack with that. I want to do all this, but I can't. Can't research and tech. Well, to be honest, I can try to ask for tech for... No, I can't ask for tech for tech, because we've all got the same tech. Um, okay, let's hit and turn again. Because that really is a priority. And to be honest, I might not even get it up in time anyway. Look, I might not even get uh, the walls built. So we need to make that call at some point about what it is I'm going to do. Am I going to continue building the walls and have them risk attacking me? Or am I going to cancel production of the walls and use that to knee-jerk quickly, get out a army? Maybe deploy a fort might be the better idea. Hmm. Because forts are cheaper, but they need an army to build them. Oh, I don't know. I'm sure there's probably some very efficient way to work out whether it's better to build a fort up uh, up threat from your city or whether it's easier to fortify your city. It's probably less risk to fortify, to build a fort. Sorry. But then again, if they destroy your army in the fort, what's the difference? They might buy you a turn, but what can you realistically afford in a turn? They're offering to buy that region for me? No. Oh, Russia, why didn't you win? Why couldn't you have won? I've never had them offer to buy that region from me, and I absolutely don't want to do that. Hopefully, their stack will go somewhere else, rather than being directed at me. 
And if I can, I'd like to build all the walls and also build a barracks as well to get next level troops. So I know we can recruit militia, and militia might be the best best compromise. They're not brilliant, but there's also loads of them in every unit. And sometimes it's just that mass in on the walls that makes so much difference. Like we've seen good units be just penned in and defeated by um, a couple of units of a couple of units of militia. Holland. At least you've got trade with the Austrians. It's not been completely disrupted by all these naval shenanigans that we can't interfere with. There is a port 12, in this region, but has not yet Balls. been developed. Select. Yep, yeah, but now I can't do anything. I've got nothing to do except hope that. Uh, we can build our walls faster than they can build their army. And to be honest, now um, I'm probably going to start... Well, now I can build cannons, which is positive. We couldn't do that before. Balance. Do I build that or do I build a barracks, which will allow better troops? Or do I just recruit more low-quality ones? Because hopefully, in our garrison, we would get um, heavy mortars, which, as we know, are, are rather effective. We shall see what happens. Because it could be... Well, you know, here no evil, speak no evil. I'm not going to comment on what I think they might do until uh, their, re their turn has gone. Okay. Oh, let's see. So they're going to interfere with our ports. Yeah, that's fair enough. So this turn will be about churning out troops. Turning out troops and cannons and try to hold them off in a siege. Fortunately, their army hasn't headed our way yet. So that means we've got a, an extra turn of breathing space. Trade agreement with the Ottomans cancelled. Yeah, they won't give us peace. And that's a hell of a lot of... Okay, elite infantry, elite infantry. Yeesh. It's not good at all. Cool, got some interesting cannons. Okay, so look. Carabiners, regiment of horse, demi-cannons, sakers. Zo zo that horse artillery, so medium and light horse artillery, some volunteers, line infantry. I could only have two of them, so let's have a look at some of the unit cards. They look pretty good. The, chlor the Chlorophyllakes, Light Infantry, Conscripts, Militia, Orophyllakes, Orophyllakes, Royal Phalanx, you only get 75 men. Ethnophyllakes, I'm probably pronouncing these, oh I, I will be pronouncing these, these, these badly. Acro... Ballistes. Okay, so one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to recruit you two units of infantry. Recruit. Yeah, clamour for reform is going to get really high really quick, so I might do that. Two of you, and then let's get. Well, what cheaply? What's the cheapest? You see, you are the light horse artillery's cheapest. Range 650, so it's not massive. But to be honest, we don't really have much to do about it. But the demi cannons are just so. Okay, let's do. How many of you do I get? 187 of you. Good. So I might do that. I can get a pike. Ooh, pikes might be a good idea, actually. 
I mean, I know pikes don't shoot things, but they've got lots of melee infantry, and having some pikes might not be a bad idea, particularly if they don't get here in time. So we'll find out. But you can see how much of a tricky start the Greeks have. Immediately they've got a major on their doorstep, and I've got no one to help me. Good. The army still hasn't moved. Our walls are halfway there. Once I've got walls, I'll feel a lot happier. Then I'll build militia to go secure my ports, and then that'll be okay. And then I'll slowly start to engage their armies. Okay. School has been built. And you can't really research anything, so research... Literally could only research a handful of agricultural techs. Well, you may as well get measuring tools. It's the fastest thing you can do. Cause I'm not going to build with you anymore. Okay, so you got. Yeah, so what have we got? There's an option to now. Still more light infantry. I want more infantry. Infantry. Build some conscripts. Upgrade that. What I'm cautious about is filling this too high and starting to negate my garrison. I need to move. 188 is not that many of them either. Saxony's been destroyed. The Prussians have got them. It's quite a colourful little map, really, when you start it off, isn't it? Yeah, the, Sp yeah, the, Fren the, uh, the French are in London. They're in Greenwich. What I might do to myself is keep my pikes actually in here until the until the uh, the Ottomans come and then I'll run back inside. But yes, this if they stay in uh, near Istanbul for a turn, we'll be safe because it'll take them two turns to get here. So if they leave now, they'll arrive before the walls are built. But if they wait. One more turn to regroup, we'll be okay. But it's going to be a close run thing, because when they're ready, they'll march, because we're at war. So they've combined their navy. The raiders are coming in. The navy's moving back. Okay, I think we might be safe. I think we might be safe. Because if it comes a question of engaging them on the field, I will engage them on the field. But I want to do that on my terms, not their terms. I want Athens to be safe, then I'll move up. There is a port in this region. It Alliance broken with Quebec and Britain. Select the type of port to I know you want a new port, and I know you're very unhappy because you've got a school there. Should we build my port? Let's. Let's build a unit of cavalry. See, these are all very low units, low numbers, so we need something with high numbers at the minute. To be honest, the best thing is probably still going to be conscripts. Unit of conscripts. Probably another unit of pikes. But yes, next turn, walls are done. Two turns, drill school's done. We can get guard infantry, fusiliers. And we can also set our one school to start chipping away at fire by rank. So if I can take Istanbul, I'll be happy. I might have to send some of my armies, well one army, or some of it, a small force, to go start to raise some of these uh, frontier Ottoman towns. Secure the Austrian border. And things should be okay. Because they shouldn't... I've deliberately not upgraded the roads, so they shouldn't be able to get here in a turn. Unless they're delivered by sea, which... 
not to uh, not to preempt it, but how likely is that going to be? I really hope it doesn't happen now. If I can get my barracks up, yeah, it'll be very, very tight. Or do I just go straight for Istanbul anyway, engage them in the mighty battle and capture their capital? Rather than picking away at them. It's an interesting choice to make. Yeah, there come their raiding raiding units. But they've still not made their move. Might try to recruit some cavalry to try chase away the raiders. Or if I look at what they've got now, I might send the cavalry I've just built out to go say hello. So the Swedes are going to invade somewhere. Venice is going towards the Straits of Gibraltar. Probably to a trade region. Ooh, that was, that's quite frame ratey for some reason. So what are you? Mobs and Berserker Infantry. And you're just mob. Okay, let's recruit some, some cavalry to go up there and chase them down. And let's continue. Or do I or do I even bother with that? Do I just keep building up my my army? What have I got now? But let's build some more guns. Let's build another unit of demi cannons because they can help me feel safe. A couple of units of this me medium, or one unit of this medium artillery, and let's get two units of royal phalanx. What do I want? Chloroflakes. They're, I see they're, yeah. They're better in combat, but the numbers. The numbers of these guys are just so useful. Then let's upgrade. Oh, in oh, infrastructure I need to upgrade too. Oh, that's factory. To be honest, it was a bit of a dumb move destroying that. I should have just waited until I could actually use it. But yes, I want to build up an army to go start to threat. If I advance out now. To be honest, I could send some of them out. Pity I don't have any spies. I could start to spy what Sarajevo looks like. I might run some cavalry up into the hills as like an am as an ambush unit, but to not ambush. Act as early warning. Because while we haven't engaged much at all in this campaign yet, I'm still pretty nervous as to how secure my position is so these raiding forces are the reason why i did not want to bring in the uh, i did not want to bring in the the school out to that area because it will interfere with that although to be honest there's some argument he said why did i get a school at all just ignore it and head towards uh, istanbul but to be honest i didn't I really didn't want to advance in Istanbul, which could potentially have a school and itself be researching fire by rank. So once I get there and start trying to fight their armies, not only do their infantry are not only are their infantry of better quality, their see here they come. Oh, it's unfortunate I've got some some I've got those guns in the fort now. There is a port in this region. Alliance broken between France and the US, France and Mexico. Select the type of port to construct. Yep, you've raided away. Fishing port. Get my pikes back in the city. Let's not do that instead. Ah, oh, excellent. We've got our 
we've got our barracks built. We can't build the elite infantry though because we've not got the technology, but we can at least build some engineers. Blend of a shotgun is. Ooh, some cool dragoons. Korofalakis Ipias. Okay, let's build Royal Observatory. No, not a Royal Observatory. Roads. So what have they got? Two organ guns and lots of melee troops. I can no longer recruit pikes here. It's frustrating. Don't know why that happened. And then let's also build a, another unit of conscripts. Let's hit end turn. What? Why? Colombia has declared on me. I don't have an army steaming right this way. I know the United Provinces have got one. But if we have to push back the Ottomans and then spin our guns around and retake Patras from the Ot from the, uh, the United Provinces from those sneaky Dutch, then I will. But I want them to land on the... Oh! Face palm. Why? 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 Oh my god. Oh god alive. Opportunity to intercept. Uh, yes. Because it will give them a breach. It will give the Ottomans a breach to head toward. That's what I want to happen. Oh, God alive. That is so, so, so frustrating. Oh, right. No casualties as possible. The enemy will try to smash their way in with siege equipment. That's enough for you. Okay, so I want to, really, I want my conscript on the wall. What do I, or do I want my volunteers on the wall? I'll mix it up. You're on the wall. You aren't, but I want you to be back here. You're on the wall. Keep regiment of horse outside the walls for now. Let's move my guns in. Between these guys, I think they should be. That's more than enough to help defend the wall. Okay, everyone. this section of the wall. Even though I did just see that artillery, eh, I'll probably want you over here. Maybe something like this. Pikes here is a nice tempting target for them to walk into. I know it really handy to put my Good, here comes our opening volleys. I might have to move a unit to cover the centre. Hopefully my conscripts will annihilate this flanking unit quickly enough. Same with them. Let's 
Let's shift these guys, because they're not... Let's push them back. Let's deploy my artillery, my cavalry. Oh no, that's their enemy cavalry there. Go back to being hidden. Fire your guns. There's no way I'm having these guys have free roam around the outside of my city. So the boys are just behind the wall. Shattered, so they're not coming back. They're just broken. Let's get you off the walls. From this wall, anyway. speed up time. Oh, now they're focusing here. They're re-engaging this engine, this um, colonial infantry, not colonial infantry, but East India Company infantry. Goes in position so they can just pour a volley down onto those sepoys. Good, let's not bring them back. And to be honest, I might just bring my horses in. wall formation. But yes, this is what ideal, really. They'll blow a hole in the wall, they'll provide a breach, and then it will provide a nice opportunity for me to create a nice little killing zone for the Ottomans when they arrive. To be honest, the artillery is going to be a bit useless, so I might just put them in there, them in here, them up here because they may try fire into the square. Where are you aiming at now? Was that a miss or was that deliberate? Let's move my guns up because I don't want them to be Do this and let's create the breach ourselves. Aim at the foot of the wall. There we go. Ultimately, against a big massive cavalry, there's not really going to be 
as much need for the guns, so that's why I'm more than content to turn them off and have my pikes make ready. That way we can clear them off. These guys up so then I'll man the inner fire steps. Chemist's bodyguard's gonna go for a flank. Charging straight into me, into the wall. Oh god, stop firing. Get these guys to briefly man this section of the wall to fire onto the general's bodyguard. There we go. At least some of them are doing it right. I oh, know we have a chap outside the wall. He's bugged in the wall. He's running in the main door, which means they should close. Good. No, stop moving up. If these guys get in a position, they will fire onto them, and they'll fire onto them. Yeah, they might damage this section of the wall, but that's okay. A nice killing field for exposed forces. So the hope is is that I, with the Ottomans, I can shatter their their only remaining, <clears throat> well, their largest remaining force on this continent with this siege. the volunteers back. And let's speed up times. I don't know if they're going to do us the honour of charging straight back at us. Oh, they are. Shot to pieces. Ultimately, I may have to commit my... Cavalry on a suicidal dash, then suitably stop it because they're they're coming back in. I'm not coming back. No, nope, they've routed. General's general's not routed. Why did you route? You weren't here for long. Ah. Yep, they will cause lots of casualties amongst my conscripts. They will constantly be fired upon. Perfect. Let's bring in the general on a silly frontal charge. One thing to remember with the Ottomans is they will be coming to siege me, so they will. They will, and I will have the benefits of a garrison. General's been shot off of this horse. Send my cavalry, not after their general. their artillery. But I don't know why they've decided to run out that way. That'll be win, because they've routed. God, 
damn dumb. I'm not even going to put that in the title. I'm just going to let this be a surprise. Yeah, two to one. Better than two to one. Smart move might have been to not touch them, but I wanted to just do some damage to them by God. Yeesh. Now, hopefully, we get a decent garrison for our scrap with the, the Ottomans. Or, if we get one extra turn... I don't remember if they've gone here or not. Um, we may be able to expand our garrison. Which would be perfect. Absolutely perfect. I really should have got some allies. But this is sort of like his Mexico with the the, the Russians going after um, Guatemala out of nowhere. Oh, there's the Ottomans. Okay. Well, I'm absolutely going to provoke a sally and get them to assault me. That's exactly what's going to happen. And at least this way, it means the United Provinces will actually upgrade some of my stuff in Petra for me. I have a breach. Even though I'm sallying, the AI will want to attack. Yes, my garrison. Urgh, the Dutch. Oh, good. And they really, really hate the Dutch. The, um... They better not become independent. So what have they got? Lots of melee infantry, organ guns. Some good, solid line infantry and some guns. Good. But, looking at the timer... It's time to end this part. So thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed this first part. And we are up against it by God. It's time for the deterrence of Athens. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.